I got a halfway decent mic. Holy fuck. This is crazy. I for my birthday I got a halfway decent mic. Holy fuck Lois. I could put my mouth into the mic. This is epic. Anyways, um I'm gonna use the power of good audio quality to react to the best YouTube video thus far made in history. A poorly drawn summary of Michael Bay, Fall of Hades. Um, yeah. Epic, epic, awesome video. All the other Michael Bay videos so far have been just a really fun take on like something that's usually just kind of, kind of poo poo, not very good. It's fun to just rip on it, have a fun summary. So let's go! Video! Woo! Fall of hate uh, of, of Hades. Let's go. I'm so fucking excited. There's been a disturbance nearby. There's no prologue this time, and part one is a recap, so we're just gonna move right into part two. The voice is revealed to be a man named Dr. Conrad. Back in the Elgin days, Dr. Conrad and Schema Love this guy. together. It's also revealed that Schema was the one who killed Carl Bay. This, Michael. by the way, this feels. I, I'm, I'm talking to like an actual fucking like standalone mic now. Like this isn't just like shitty Wendy's drive-through mic anymore. This is like stand. This feels. It's a different vibe. What the fuck? This is crazy. Anyways, like <laughs> sorry, I'm still getting used to this. This. Is, this is modern art right here, obviously. Conrad basically invented the perfect murder weapon. It's a device that can give someone a heart attack even at a long distance. Kind of oh. like Cassie's power. Schema used this to silence Conrad, oh, yeah. but he survived and faked his death. They start Lamau. talking about a way to steal the jewel, which, if you remember, has all of the Elgin's money on it. And it looks like the only way is with an authorization of an nice. egg or hatch. And conveniently, Egg Welch has been on the run since Hatch sentenced him to death. Hatch is pondering in his room. Was it the countless murders That's keeping him away? Eyes of a man who's Maybe pondering. the hours spent torturing children? No. <laughs> he loves it torturing was one children. Man, David Welch. <gasps> Welch is the greatest mistake Hatch has made because he knows everything. He everything. Knows Elgin Protocol better than Hatch does, and he's eager for revenge. This ends part two. Please assist. We're already in part three. A lot of Welsh lore. Basically, he was a kid with a it's the lore episode, and he quickly rose through the Elgin ranks. We also get some Conrad lore. He lost the his baby mother, egg. I love the baby egg. The Look Elgin at him. Ranks. Look we at also him. Get some Conrad lore. He lost his mother, wife, and unborn Boo child to cancer. Boo hoo! His life to killing cancer, which was the creation of the MEI machine, the same machine that created the electric children. This guy was responsible for all of it. Can you believe it? The voice is an the important character. Guy. What? <laughs> we now return to the present day where Welch has just escaped prison. He meets up with a woman oh. named Mei Lee. The Elgin Mei aren't allowed to have relationships, so he's had to keep her secret, but he's been sending her <laughs> no money woman. just in case Stinky. something like this happened. And thanks to Yucky this, woman. she has more than enough money to help Welch flee Taiwan. He creates an advertisement that <gasps> will hopefully slip through the Elgin watch and make it to the Electro Plan. Ending part three. A damn bioterrorist is on the loose! Oh, I gotta read that. Michael Bay, help me, I'm stuck in Taiwan and Hatch wants to kill me. Call 1-800-SAVE-WELCH. I, th I think that might have a few more characters in, our, in a phone number. <laughs> the Electro Plan. Ending part three. A damn bioterrorist is on the loose! Torsten is in bio his waiting his execution. I thought the child torture couldn't get any worse. Uh oh. Yet here we are. In his cell, a TV turns on every 15 minutes, showing whatever is being fed to the rats as well as the lights and cameras being on 24-7. At this point, there's no changing his fate. Torsten is going to be fed to the rats one way or another. Feed so the child to the rats. If he tells him where Welch is. But of course, Torsten doesn't know that. Hatch gives him 15 days to live, 
and threatens to make his execution worse by putting cages around his vital organs so the rats will have to burrow into his skin to kill him. Awesome. What the actual fuck? Quentin is scheduled to join the I, Prime Minister. <laughs> Honestly, bro, he is coming up with, like, medieval shit. This is... wild. In the monkey cage. Hatch comes by the to fucking guy who writes... I forget his I'd name. I'd like to read but, their oh interaction. God. Dick. You're delusional. Who can challenge me? Who can't I buy off? Michael Bay. He's the good guy. I can see that now. And in the end, he's going to win. Michael hey, Bay is nothing. And at the end, oh. I will feed you his flesh. We are oh not my God. halfway through the book, and this is what we're dealing with. <laughs> He's taken to the monkey cage where he... What a vibe. <laughs> I fuck with this sequence. <laughs> you know what? This is just being done so well. I I feel like if this was executed less well, I would have said that like this has gone on for too long way before, but like it's just done well. Good sequence. He's locked up, ending part four. Whatever will I do? Travato and Simon come across Welch's ad and decide to start planning a way to rescue him. This ends part five. So, what are you wearing? The Elgin have also found Welch's ad, so they track the phone and prepare uh -oh. to ambush him. He tricks them by taping the phone to his dog. This is not Welch. Part six. He's so threatening. <laughs> he taped it to a dog. Handsome. Finally, it's time to see Where the, the voice goes from now in between. Look at that. Mr. In between has things. A group of drunk Bull. Bull. Lar. Ball. Flar. Paul. Taylor and her mom stay Gull. Plar. No. Her powers are starting to let her see oh, permissions. True. Like before the ranch was attacked, she had a dream of dragons breathing fire on the old ranch. She really is living up to that wizard reputation. The Electro Clan has a meeting with Simon where he briefs them on the mission. First, they're going back to Taiwan to pick up Welch. After, they're going to sneak onto the island of Hades using a supply boat and free Quentin, then Tara and Torsten. The ultimate goal is to steal the jewel, and everybody, except for Grace, will be coming on this mission. Even Tanner. Finally! Tanner is such an interesting character. He was the first oh. kid to rebel against Hatch. Oh? He's just been on the sidelines for the past, like, what, five books now? Tanner reference. Get this man in action. Taylor yes. And her mom return to the ranch, and she breaks up with Michael, then no. drops out of the jewel attack. She says it's just not the right time for them. <laughs> the rest of this is basically just Michael being sad, but there's a little moment he has with Jack that I really like. Jack Boy. is the first to hear Boy. about the breakup, and... The guy who used to bully Michael and shove him around continues to bully him. That he was too good for her, anyways. Aww. It's a quick interaction, but I love it for showing how far Jack has come since book one. Is this good writing? What? On the mission after all, and the Electro Clan heads out to Vegas, partially because that's where their plane is, but also just to have some fun in case they all die horribly. All right, I gotta read something for you again because Richard Paul Evans has done it again. The kids are talking about getting tattoos in Vegas, and Nichelle shows one of hers, which is on her stomach. And he felt the need to add a line about her having a great stomach. Yeah. What does that even mean, dude? I they saw like, that. <laughs> I saw that in the Discord group chat. Yep. The group what? <laughs> okay. To pick up I guess. Up. They're going to meet him in front of the school the and fuck? have McKenna dress up as a student to avoid suspicion. The plan falls apart when the Elgin ambush them and everyone is captured except for Michael. <laughs> Dude, what are Until you doing? A certain someone shows up. Uh -oh. What is that? 
Is this dialogue from JoJo's? This fits so this fits so well. Dude, this is peak. Here, here's the thing, right? I genuinely can't think of anywhere else on YouTube or anywhere else I've seen shit like this. Like these kinds of bits, this style of video. I don't know if I I can't think of anywhere else I've seen this. Like this is this is this is fun. This is peak. Not me. Cassie invokes Joyce's group and Cassie nice. drops some information. There's somebody above the voice in the resistance, and the voice isn't the one who started the resistance. Who could this mysterious individual be? A lot of filler later, and we're finally ready to attack Hades. There is a slight problem though. A massive storm is coming. This means the storm that is coming. Sail to Hades, there's no turning back unless they can escape on the jewel. Gervasso's old military friend, JD, is going to be sailing. Gervasso? Taylor has a dream that they're surrounded by crocodiles on the island. Gervasso? Lightning strikes the island and everything turns to glass. Dice. But Michael is gone. That's amazing. Well, that can only mean good things, right? Twice. This ends part seven. This is Delson What's Rowe. What's made of? Do your worst. JD radios the coast and informs them that he has the electro plan. Why do they trust anybody at this point? Hatch says that he wants them to go along with their plan, but he'll destroy them once they free Quentin and head to Hades to rescue Tara and Torsten, taking out all his enemies at once. This ends part eight. I think it's about time you introduce yourself. The storm rages on as the Electro Clan make their way to Quentin. He's doing Quentin. about as well as you'd expect for someone locked in a monkey cage during a heavy thunderstorm. They free him and start to head to Hades. Along the way, they figure out that JD is a traitor. Taylor reads his mind, which is something I'm not going to include in this video. Not like this Taylor plan. Reads his mind oh and no. Has to kill everyone in battle. Oh no. Richard Paul Evans at it again, I see. Man. Man. He plans to... Uh-oh. Hold on. We, we, we're flipping through pages. It's, it's, it's that bad. Oh, oh no, no, that, that is what it says. Um... Hatch plans to eat Michael <laughs> in his feast to celebrate the end of the resistance. I don't have any kind of witty comment on that one. That's just disgusting. It's time for the beginning of the end. <laughs> fucking, fucking unhinged. Like, what the f- R Look at this man. Look at this fucking man. This fucking weirdo. I I I did not know who this 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 fucking creature. I didn't know who this guy was before Stables' videos, but now I do. And holy fuck, he has the same smile in every picture. God fucking damn it, <laughs> this fucking guy, and his writing. Oops. Oh my god. Final battle between the Elgin and the Electro Clan. Everyone takes their battle stations while part of the group goes to rescue Tara and Torsten. Once they're free, they'll attempt to steal the jewel. Splitting the group like this is risky, but it's a way to lose the battle while still winning the war in a worst case scenario. This is an all out showdown, and it's honestly kinda cool. Ian Ooh. and Tanner take a watchtower so Ian can let everyone know what's happening while Tanner drops planes. Gravasso guards the entrance drops tunnel planes. with a flamethrower, Jack gets a machine gun and the ammo straps like this shit is serious. They released the entire prison of Hades. Now the Electro Clan have an army of their own. This ends part nine. Uh, he decided to vandalize your billboard. Gervasso is going to blow up this the dock so the Elgin ships will have a harder time getting their troops to the island. He calls out to a group that he thinks is Welsh and the Electric Kids going to attack the Jewel, but it was actually some Elgin soldiers. Uh -oh. They shoot him, but Gervasso blows himself up, taking down them 
and the doc with him. No, I no. am so mad. <laughs> I was mad reading this, and I am mad again recording it. Gervasso is not stupid enough to do something like yelling oh. good luck at people he can't even see. I really like this guy, and I'm very upset he's dead. Oh. Fuck part time. I was just wondering if you no, no, actually, I'm not done. Oh. Jack, who is probably my favorite character, has been through yeah. so much shit already, like losing Wade and now Gervasso, who was like a mentor and father figure to him. It just pisses me off that Gervasso, who is this badass military champion, dies for the sake of Jack's development. Alright, I'm done. For now. It's quite lovely. Michael takes command I agree, as the that is pretty cringe. the island. Things aren't looking too good. But hey, Tanner finally gets to take down a helicopter. This ends Epic. part 11. Alright lady, bring it on. This part is short. Basically, Austin and McKenna are watching everyone through the cameras in the central control room. And Austin says that he has an idea to help deal with the troops. Yeah, uh, pretty soon you guys are going to run out of billboards for me to tag. Austin's idea turns out to be unleashing the rats used to power the prison. This works as a great temporary solution, but eventually they die in the rain. The Elgin launch mortar shells at them, but Michael shells. manages to deflect the initial impact with his magnetism. The shell still explodes, sending shrapnel everywhere, hitting and killing Tanner. The guy who just got serious? introduced. I will never forgive <laughs> you. The prison is falling quickly. Uh. Everyone is fucking dead Rip and nobody knows what to do. Just then, Most unutilized character. The central tower. Michael begins absorbing more and more electricity to the point where he's glowing like a light bulb. He says goodbye to Taylor like a and light he walks pain. away. Jack tries to grab him and begs for him to stay because Please. Jack can't lose another friend. Please. Michael just looks at him. They both know this is the only way. He orders Zeus to take everyone to safety and makes his way to the tower. Ending part 13. I can't control myself! Part 14 isn't even a full page. It's just Hatch going, Ooh, look, it's Vey. Shoot him. Let's get to the finale. Uh, Ooh, what? Stop calling! Michael climbs the tower. What? <laughs> what are these audio cues being used for transitions? I want to know. I want to know. Does, does he say in this description? Second Son voice lines. Oh, well, this is from Infamous Second Son. Okay. That makes uh, sense. Yep. Helpline. Do you have a bioterrorist incident to report? Bioterrorism? Uh, there's been a disturbance nearby uh, by a rather yeah, handsome same with some bioterrorist. Uh, he decided to vandalize bio your Bioterrorism is billboard. based. Please hold and stay where you are. We are sending <laughs> DUP troops to neutralize the threat. <laughs> I am never going to get tired of this. Bioterrorist incident to report? Oh dear! A bioterrorist has covered this billboard in amazing avant garde designs! Please assist! Strange. Second time a billboard has been vandalized recently. We will send DUP troops immediately. Anyways. <laughs> he goes. The bullets and shells fired at him just bounce off due to how powerful his magnetism is. Damn, his power level is too high. The top and overlooks the island. Long way from Idaho, right? Pose for the thumbnail, Michael. <laughs> oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. All the callbacks. Yo! Oh my god. All the characters that are... Oh. All the callbacks. Thunder Pointer. That's awesome. The judge was. There it is. Oh, the problem is the last one. For a fraction of a second, but Michael Vey did something that shouldn't be possible. He held lightning. 
enough time to absorb and redirect that godly power straight into the Elgin fleet. Like an arrow, he blasted across the island, turning He's stretching out that animation that took him forever to make. I respect and obliterating it. everything in his path. Hatch barely escapes with his life, once again crushed by Michael Bay. The Electro Clan dig themselves out of the rubble and silently look over the island. Team Rocket blasting off again. Destroyed, but victorious. This victory is not without loss. Gervaso, Tanner, and now Michael is nowhere to be seen. Taylor and Austin break down crying until Ian points to something they in the distance. Down. The jewel slowly rises break from down. the ocean. Welch steers the sub onto shore and prepares to get everyone off the island. They tell him about Gervaso and Tanner, but he notices their silence. Where's Michael? Where is my child? Oh, we're not even going to answer that. It actually leaves on a cliffhanger. Damn. <laughs> this fucking video. Okay, well, <laughs> this video, uh, good god. I think it's pretty obvious what I think of this video. Um, it fucking sucks. Zero out of ten. KYS, etc., etc. I'm joking, obviously. These videos get better and better as they go along. And I like that. I'm a fan of this. He's getting better at the format. Every video is getting more ambitious. Like he, he was planning on, like, fucking doing a proper animation sequence for this. Back when I was still getting... Like, yeah, man, it's, it's good. Peak content. Oh, fuck. W video.